Hey guys, it's me Grace. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, I've made a YouTube video on how I learn French, how I learn Cantonese, how I learn Mandarin, but I haven't actually made on on how I learn Japanese and I don't know why. This video is really long overdue. And so I'm just going to share with you guys how I learn Japanese, how I'm learning Japanese because I've made a video speaking in Japanese which I will link down below, but I haven't made one telling you guys how I learn. So, yeah, I'm just going to share with you guys how I'm learning Japanese. So Japanese is definitely the language that I find the most difficult out of all four. Um, I just think it's really, really difficult. Like the grammar is really difficult and then you have kanji is really difficult as well. Like writing is really difficult. Um, and so I think for Japanese it's really necessary to have like a textbook or um, a like to be subscribed to a podcast series you know online classes not not necessarily classes because you I self-study I don't take classes but basically something that's going to actively teach you the grammar because there's just so much grammar there's a lot to, to learn to know um, you know to even be able to speak like at a beginner level there's still a lot of rules that you need to learn so it's really important that that you're able to have something that's going to walk you through that when I learn Cantonese, I don't really use textbooks or anything like that. I mainly learn by like watching TV and stuff. But I think for Japanese, you can do that. But I think having a structured way of learning is really necessary. So I invested in textbooks. If you guys are new to my channel, take a look, take a look at my other videos, like take a look on my channel, watch some of them and you'll see that my philosophy is I'm really an advocate for really just immersing yourself, speaking to people, watching TV, listening to music. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of textbooks and stuff, but I think for Japanese it's really necessary. So the textbook that I use is Genki. I have Genki 1, I finished Genki 1, and I'm currently on doing Genki 2. I've been on this textbook, reading this textbook for so long because I'm such a procrastinator. But I really like this textbook, these textbooks, you know, I think they're really good. If you're wondering what te like what textbook you should buy, I definitely do recommend Genki. So they have like it has a CD which is really good, so you can hear the Japanese. Then it has a vocab section, so the vocab, and then you learn the grammar. By the way, you have a dialogue at first, which has the vocab and the grammar. You learn the grammar, and then you do exercises. So like exercises where you have to speak not just like written ones ones where you have to speak like with the cd right and what i really like about this textbook is it teaches you like colloquial japanese as well not just colloquial but it has like um a section called expression notes where it will teach you japanese people usually drop this when they're speaking or they might use this instead of this you know it's not doesn't just teach you like some textbooks you learn the japanese from them and you'll sound like like a robot like you'll sound like you're learning Japanese from a textbook you won't sound natural but I think like Genki read um, like really teaches you like natural Japanese as well you know Japanese that will actually really help you like understand native speakers so that's what I like about Genki it's not just really robotic it really does teach you like you know natural colloquial phrases like stuff that Japanese people tend to do this and that and also culture as well like festivals stuff like that and if you're wondering it does teach you kanji as well so it has kanji here it gives you like a list of kanji and then some like exercises and yeah, it has on your kunyomi and all of that and then Genki 2 is literally just a continuation of Genki 1 so Genki also comes with work with work with well. this workbook is actually for the old edition this textbook that I have here is the is the second edition, right? And this workbook is actually from the old edition. I didn't even realize when I was buying it. It's still like the same grammar stuff. It's not that different, so I can still use it. But um, some of it is a bit like some of the exercises in it are a bit different, like what the CD has. But yeah, so I would recommend getting the actual one. <laughs> like actually, make sure you match them. But yeah, the, the workbook is good. You don't have to get it, but it's good for like you know um practicing more practicing your grammar more stuff like that i can't remember how much i got this i know i got it on amazon i think this one is this is um used on amazon i think it was like 30 pounds or maybe 40 pounds i can't even remember um so it's kind of an investment but yeah i think the i think the original price is like 60 pounds i can't really remember but try and get like used try and go on ebay amazon and get used ones um so you can get cheaper and I think also if you're in Japan, it's also much cheaper. So I just have a notebook. This is my Japanese notebook. 
And in it is where I write the, you know, the grammar stuff. And you come to all these things up. A YouTube channel that I also use to learn grammar and learn stuff is Japanese Amo with Misa. I will link her down below. She's she's so good. If you're learning Japanese and you don't use her, I don't know what you're doing. She explains things so well. Sometimes I'll read some stuff in a textbook and I won't really understand it 100 percent like how to use it properly and everything. Type it in Japanese Amo no Misa. Chances are she'll have a video on it. I watched the video and I literally have no questions after the video. Like she's so good, so clear, so good at explaining. So I really recommend, I think also you can try learning Japanese with just her videos because I know she, you know, like, she she really does like walk you through, like she has a beginner, like beginner videos and she, yeah, I don't even think like you might not need to buy a textbook, it really just depends on how you prefer to learn, but she does have like a good, like her videos are very sequenced, They're, they are really good, um, so take a look on her channel. And then also some other YouTube channel, another YouTube channel is um, Miku, Miku Japanese. Um, she's really good. She does like she teaches as well as she does a lot of videos like in Japanese for like learners So she'll speak a little bit slowly and you can like really like, you know, listen and practice for listening She's really good for that. So I'll also link her down below You know Japanese culture is quite popular in the West in terms of like anime, you know, J-pop like games this and that and so a lot of people are learning Japanese and so if you go on Google, go on YouTube, type in Japanese lessons, Japanese listening practice, you'll, you'll find a lot of stuff there. So really just utilize the internet. Now, since like I told you guys, I'm a big advocate for like immersing yourself in the language and stuff like that. So I learn a lot by TV, by watching. I'll make a video on whether you can learn Japanese for anime because it, it's, a bit of a, it's a bit of a sticky situation. But um and as well as anime also make sure you watch like actual like real japanese people so on netflix is this show called terrace house terrace house it's actually good it's actually an interesting show like it's a reality tv show so it's not like scripted it's real people speaking so you can really get the real raw authentic japanese like how japanese people would actually speak so i really recommend terrace house also just like dramas uh what my favorite japanese boku no itajikan um oh uh, what's the english name the hours of my life i think something like that um mischievous kid good morning call you know japanese dramas switched on netflix you know just try and go on netflix type in japanese drama and you can watch that anime as well anime is good but just be a bit careful with that i'll make a video on learning japanese from anime because you have to be a little bit careful because the way they speak in anime is a little bit different to how they speak in real life sometimes but yeah, just watch a ton, watch a ton, listen to Japanese music. Since I really like anime, I always listen to my anime openings and um, also just type in like Japanese music on YouTube, try to find some people that you, that you like. Um, yeah, just really immerse yourself in, the, in Japanese, in the Japanese language and stuff like that. And in practice, speak to people. This is something that I'm a bit, I don't really have many people to practice with, to be honest with. I'm still trying to find like a stable partner that I can practice with on a regular basis. Um, but try to find someone and I speak with them often. I don't really know. I feel like I've made videos on how to learn a language and um, how to learn a language by watching TV, the secret to, learn a, to learning a language. I'll link all those videos down below where I talk about language learning strategies. And that's, that's, that's what I do. So instead of, I'm not going to repeat myself in this video because I already made videos on that. So I'll link them down below and you can watch that, those videos and apply that to your Japanese learning, you know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Um, please give it a like if you'd like to share, share it with all your friends. Comment down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Janet.